are threatening communities while their smoke impacted air quality in Montana and the Dakotas yesterday and today. Meteorologist Jacob Morse has more. Similar to last May, wildfire smoke abruptly entered our region over the weekend and has lingered. More than 100 fires are burning in Canada, especially in British Columbia and Alberta, forcing thousands to evacuate Fort Nelson and other towns. Winds funneled the smoke into our region, making our air quality unhealthy. Since we're more than a thousand miles away from some of the fires, the smoke can arrive in waves. Just knowing how hard it is to predict exactly where this smoke is going to be pulled and pushed by, by wind currents. In the near term, the smoke looks to be gradually clearing. And even in the upper level, we're seeing smoke up there, but it actually looks like the way the pattern's shifting, that that should push mainly to the east of our area. Canada witnessed a record number of wildfires in 2023, and chances are high for more this summer, as lightning strikes could trigger fires that quickly spread in forests, suffering intense drought worse than last year. Well, I sure hope we don't have another year like last year. I've been here 40 years, and last year was, was easily the worst I can remember. Current air quality can be monitored at airnow.gov. For your news leader, I'm Jacob Morse. Wildfire smoke impacts those with respiratory illnesses the most, but it can also affect your heart health and lead to eye and throat irritation.